So these are tawny mining bees looking for a place to build their hives. The place is buzzing with tawny mining bees and tawny mining bees were thought to be extinct. I mean, easily looking around the base of this trunk, this was the huge oak tree that blew over, but it's buzzing with tawny mining bees. It's just brilliant. Oh look, the cat's up at the top now. Hey kitty. But there's loads and loads of tawny mining bees all over this area, all over. I mean, it's buzzing with them. They're all looking for somewhere to build a den. You can see potentially there's holes. Oh, maybe the sun you can't see, but there's some holes are right under there. But there's another one over there. They're all over the place. This is absolutely fascinating to me. I've never seen the tawny mining bees in such a large quantity all looking for somewhere to do their den. Oh, and here's, oh uh, look, down on the ground, there's a tawny mining bee. Let's see if I can get in close. There. See, there's a tawny mining bee right there. So, there's a tawny mining bee. Anyway, that's very interesting that there is so, but there's a lot of, if you look closely, or if I can get the film up closely, you can see there's holes here. There's another one. There's more up there. So it's uh, really exciting that this upturned oak tree has turned into a lovely accommodation for tawny mining bees. And it's just buzzing with it and the cat. How are you? I'm down here because I'm figuring out where I'm gonna plant some uh, alder trees that uh, I got today. We've planted beech trees. There's the beech trees. One, two, three. And those three beech trees are named beech trees of people who donated money. Uh, for me to do things like plant more trees. So look at you. Were there too many bees for you up there? They were definitely. It's fascinating to see so many bees, tawny mining bees in this, uh, um, flying around this. So right there, you can see that's a tawny mining bees den. And from the granular stuff here, you can see it's very freshly dug. So, and then go up this way a little bit and there's another tawny mining bean den. There's another one right there. There's more right there. You can see the fresh granulation. Then there's another tawny mining bee den and another one just right under there. There's loads of them. It's absolutely fantastic how many tawny mining bee nests or dens there are here. Oh, I can hear one buzzing out of its den. I wonder if I can find it so that I can film it for you to show you it coming out of its den. Problem is there's so many holes and there's so many of them all the way up there. Oh, I'm so pleased to have found where they've colonized. They're actually quite early um, coming out. I think it's because it's been so warm. So hopefully they'll have loads of um, babies. Look at who's still here. You still here? You're gonna mew. New kitty. So I'm very excited about the Tawny Miney Bee population is very, very healthy right here. Anybody want to study tawny mining bees, I can tell you we have a huge colony. Because this whole tree here, that massive bottom of the oak tree trunk, 
that blew down in a big storm a number of years ago is just chock-a-block with tawny mining bees. Very exciting, very pleased. gone in its hole. There is a magnificent specimen of a tawny mining bee. You can see its foxy coat. Its red foxy furry coat. Magnificent fella, or queen rather, I should say. Having a bath now. Look at that. And this was thought once to be extinct. And we have a large colony here on the farm, which is fantastic. See if I can give you, oh, it's gone away. I was gonna put my finger next to it so you can see what it was for scale. How it's size comparison for scale. They're a very small bee. 